All right, so here's the deal. Um, I took uh, just a, an old piece of cardboard and I drew a quick diagram. I hope you'll excuse me for my poor uh, drawing skills, but I think you'll get the idea if I explain this to you. So, we're sitting up in my uh, attic and we're getting ready to, well, I am getting ready to put some insulation down there where you see that white piece of plastic over there now if you look at my roof um, you know a cutout of my roof it looks a little bit like this okay so I'm sitting here and I'm getting ready to insert insulation between those two beams over there where you see the plastic so between those two beams I'm going to slide down some insulation okay or at least I'm going to try to now just to give you an idea so there's a big beam here which uh, runs sort of out of the page like this okay and all those transversal beams you see over there are resting on that big beam you see on the diagram right here okay now what I need to do is to slide um, insulation wool something like this all the way down a shaft which is formed by two of these well very thick planks you see over there and and of course the roof tiles which are up here okay so what I need to do is actually from here slide in insulation in between those two thick planks and all the way down this shaft here okay all the way down so from right about here to right about there okay so and the room downstairs actually I drew my diagram incorrectly uh, the, the, the wall is more like this okay so uh, yeah something like this okay so the room downstairs so below us it's really is this space here okay this is the room downstairs okay not that it's so important but just to give you an idea so what I need to do is to somehow slide down the insulation between those two planks you see over there and all the way down to here the edge of the roof now this distance so this distance here okay is about 174 centimeters okay or 1740 millimeters if you prefer or uh, a yard and three quarters or thereabouts um, that doesn't sound like a lot but I'll explain to you or try to explain to you why this is such a problem all right so you're looking down the hole where I need to slide uh, insulation now I don't know if you can see this but let's see if I can light it a little bit okay so down there is where the insulation needs to go and like I showed you on the diagram that's about one and three quarter yards down the hole okay so obviously what I did was I cut the insulation 
to this width here which is 40 centimeters or I would say uh, a foot and one-third width okay and and I need to slide it down that hole now one of the problems I have is those who originally built the roof placed a shoring board between the two vertical beams you see the shoring board there and it's nailed down to the big beam below okay so what I'll need to do first is to take away this board here and then I'll somehow have to slide the insulation down the hole now these boards here so the one on the left and the one on the right is pine wood okay heavy pine wood and it's pretty rough on the side okay so my main concern really is to make sure that the insulation doesn't get snagged up on those boards or anything down below down there okay so that will be my main concern if I can solve the problem somehow then it shouldn't be too hard to put the insulation down there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide two planks let's see if I can show you okay here they are so I'm going to use these planks okay and these planks have a very smooth surface it's what some people call cigarette proof covering okay so um, uh, uh, it's it's a kind of, of plastic you could say right so I'm going to put those two boards one on each side okay and that will provide for a little bit of a smoother ride down the side however um, I still have the problem of how to slide the insulation uh, in the hole without it snagging either on top or below okay because remember the part below is part of the ceiling of the room underneath us and this is the roof itself okay and this is just waterproof material to avoid any rain or whatever coming uh, dripping into the roof or in the space below the roof when it storms or anything like that okay so what I did first was take my uh, crowbar which has a hooked uh, side and put it under the board there and then uh, hit it from the back like this a few times then I slid the crowbar underneath the plank like this and now I'm in the process of releasing it there you go and all will be revealed I hope without the roof falling in on me yeah there you go okay well this is a board with the two nails hopefully I can just re reuse it okay so there you go now you see the hole okay and what you see down there is really the the outer edge of the roof where you see that yellow uh, stuff okay that yellow stuff is is uh, just insulation um, uh, foam they sprayed into the roof okay so what I'll need to do now is slide in the insulation down there and uh, 
uh, well, hope that everything goes for the best. But you see the problem I have. You see those nails sticking out here? Down there? So those nails are really going to be a pain. Uh, I'm not going to use the expletive some people would use in this case but those nails are really going to be a big big problem but I'm hoping that my two sliding boards will help me to sort of diminish the problem somewhat I cut a piece of insulation from one of the rolls and it's the exact width uh, of the hole it needs to go down in yeah and uh, uh, well it's maybe one centimeter wider but that's it okay you don't need to go overboard um, if it's just a little bit wider than the space it needs to fill um, that's just fine now I've been thinking about how to slide it down and I'm going to use a combination of of methods first of all I'm going to unroll so I'm going to cut open this roll of insulation and then I'm going to sort of with with this rope okay I'm going to pinch the the swan of, of insulation together so I'm going to make sort of I'm going to uh, fold it together and hold it together with the rope and I'm going to make a knot at the end which I can pull loose from a distance all right so here is the knot okay and here is the rope which will run all the way down the roll so I'm going to push down the roll uh, down the shaft I mean with this rod here which is a collapsible rod of two yards long or two meters long well maybe a little bit longer than that anyway so once the pinched roll of insulation and you see I pinched it together a little bit okay once it's down the hole completely at the bottom I'll just tug from the top on these two ropes and then this will happen okay so it will just fold open and what I'll then do is just pull on either side of the rope and and pull it loose okay I'm sorry if my sound if my voice sounds a bit muffled but I'm wearing a dust mask okay because when you start handling this sort of insulation it releases a, a lot of tiny dust particles which are really very irritating to your throat and your lungs so I'm wearing a, a dust mask okay so and I would advise you guys to do the same thing because well okay I won't die from putting a few rolls of insulation in my roof but why do something unhealthy if you can avoid it right okay I coaxed the insulation down the hole with my extensible uh, stick and I think it's all the way down uh, at least I'm starting to feel a lot of resistance when I push so and I also measured what is left over from the roll and I think I'm pretty close to where I need to be you see the roll is 4.1 meters long okay from one end to the other and since I know I need to go uh, to go 1.7 meters down that hole okay uh, I simply need to measure what's left over to know how far I need to go and uh, I'm pretty close 
So what I'm going to do is give it one more shove and then retract the boards you see on both sides and that should be it um, what I ended up doing is not using the wire or the the, the rope um, because it, it it turned out not to be uh, practical so instead what I did was I made the hole as smooth as possible so you see I use a sort of a semi glossy tough plastic which happens to be a brand plastic from some clothing of some sort but it's the right kind of plastic it's smooth it's glossy uh, and it's tough and it's it also is it slides very well so I use that to make the underside smooth so that the insulation can slide over it and not get snagged and then I started pushing with the rod uh, from all sides you know from the bottom from the sides from the top and I started to push the insulation in and uh, okay I won't say it's easy but it seems to have worked Well, there you have it. The first strip is placed. I'm sorry if it's a bit dark for you guys, but well, the lighting is not so good here for the moment. Anyway, you can see it went all the way down the throat of the uh, hole that I needed to insulate and obviously the the rest of the roll i just put up between the two beams that support the roof uh just for your information the insulation is 18 centimeters thick okay so that would make it i think about seven and a half inches maybe seven seven inches thick okay and uh, it's a kind of rock wool insulation so yeah there you go down the hatch okay I hammered back the board into place and I managed to ruin one of my shoes as well as you can tell uh, well it's not a big deal I mean it was an old pair of shoes but yeah that too is something you need to take into account when you're working on something like this any material you use will suffer and your shoes is one of those things done well that's it so now let's take one final look but from a little bit further away the board at the bottom is in the insulation is in one to go 29 more to go or no actually 31 more to go so yeah well at least I know what I need to buy next another pair of working shoes well guys that's it as always comment give me a thumbs up 
subscribe and I'll see you for the next episode very soon. Thanks and have a nice day. And yeah, fall has arrived. Well, I wouldn't say at last, but it's the turning of the seasons. And you can tell the trees are starting to lose their leaves. It's actually still quite warm. Um, it's 22 degrees C for the moment. I uh, don't know how much that would be in Fahrenheit, but I would guess in the low 70s somewhere. So yeah, the weather is nice, a bit windy, but that's okay.